Right, we don't need any more men right now, but we're happy. Why not? Okay, we're gonna play a little game here now. Here's what, oh, I forgot to tell you the name of the game, right? This is called Sing Me That Song. Sing Me That Song. <laughs> and it works like this. In this little bowl here, our little song titles, comes a paper containing well-known songs from the 50s and 60s. Most of the songs are from the 50s and the 60s. When it's your turn, you reach in here and you pick out a slip of paper and I will reveal the song title. You'll have five seconds to sing, hum, or whistle any part of the song just to prove that you know it. Now you folks in the audience, you are the judges. If you feel in your heart that the contestant knows the song, you yell, cheer, and applaud. Let's hear a round of applause. They got it right. But judges, they don't know the song. What do you do? Now if you hear a boo, you're out of the game. I'm, that's not my fault. It's your friends and fellow passengers that say, that say, hey, that's not how the song goes. All right, contestant number one right down here, sir. Tell us your name and where you're from. Terry Mitchell in Wichita, Kansas. I'm from Wichita. Yeah, Wichita! <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, Terry, reach in there. These are all well-known song titles. And you have five seconds to sing a song called I Want to Hold Your Hand by the Beatles. Sing me that song. I want to hold your hand. <laughs> Do you know Joe? Sure. Oh, I bet you do. Okay. <laughs> Reach in there if you will, please. Pick out a well-known song title. We're playing Sing Me That Song. And uh, you have a song called Leaving on a Jet Plane by Peter, Paul, and Mary. How's that song go? I'm leaving on a jet plane. Jerry from Jersey. I know, we saw you last night on the talent show. Jerry from Jersey. Okay. <laughs> Would it be something he picked the same song he sang last night? All right, Jerry from Jersey. He's got the whole world in his hands. That was a big hit back in the late 50s. Yeah. He's got the whole world. Great in the audience. 
audience, by the way, you are? Darlene from Connecticut. What part of Connecticut? West Haven. I'm from New Canaan, really. From born and raised there. Actually, Norwalk. But that's true, folks. That's my real hometown. Okay. Your cheating heart. Oh, my God, of all things. Oh, well, why? Now, why of all things? Behind it, Let's hear the story. You folks, you folks want to hear the story? They want to hear the story behind your cheating heart. <laughs> all right, we'll just, we'll just make up a, a story. Okay, make up a story. Okay, right over here. Your cheating heart. Sing me that song. Your cheating heart. That's all I know. <laughs> Now, here's how it goes. Your cheating heart will tell on you. Please take your seat. You're all true. I'm going to uh, give you a little survey question. This question was asked to 100 people around the United States. Whoever comes the closest to the survey answer is the winner. You folks in the audience can help the uh, contestants out. We surveyed 100 married women. And we asked them this question. If you picked up the extension phone and heard your husband whisper, I love you, to another woman, would you continue to listen in on the conversation? Yeah. How many married women said yes, they would continue to listen in on the conversation if they picked up the extension phone and heard their husband whisper, I love you, to another woman? Before you answer, how many ladies in the audience would listen? Eighty. <laughs> how many would then kill their husband? <laughs> the closest to the answer wins the game. And what would you, out of a hundred married women, how many uh, said, what would you do in that situation? Oh, I'd listen. For how long, how, for how long would you listen? Until I found out where she lived. <laughs> okay, out of 100 married women, how many said, yeah, they would continue to, li to listen? A hundred. A hundred, okay, a hundred. Jerry? I don't think I applied this question. I don't have a husband. Well, that's all right. Just, just out of a hundred married women, how many said, yeah, they would continue to listen? 90. 90. Now remember your answers. You said 100 and you said 90. Audience, what do you think some of the answers might be? A lot of high answers. 98. 98. 96. 96. You watch The Price is Right, don't you? Yeah. 89. 89? And 95. Well, the actual survey answer, how many women said yes, they would continue to listen on the conversation? Down the lower left is 87. Who said 85? This lady right here came in closest. Is that anybody get closer than 80? Uh, she's the lowest, she's the one. Okay, guess what? You just won. You have to buy everyone around.